I wanted to show you how to create a basic LTI link from a course. So first of all we need to choose where this link is going to reside. I created a little uh, content area and next I'm going to go to build content and then select the web link. Once the web link is selected I'm going to paste in the URL that the vendor provided for me and in order for the URL to be valid you might have to log into the vendor's website and cons configure the entire uh, system there. But we'll now go ahead and to create a link. Or perhaps the caption is going to uh, say something like Nursing 525. Now at this point we can select that this link is a tool provider. Ahead of time I went into the administration side of Blackboard and approved the um, let's go to the beginning here, approved the acrobatic.com as uh, a valid partner. So that was the first step. Next we're going to select to open this link in a new window. Because the LTI system works on a form submission system, so a post uh, type header, uh, we require uh, a new window to be uh, created. And from here, uh, the configuration looks fine, and we'll go ahead and say Submit. So now we have our content area, and we have our link. Now I'll go ahead and uh, select this link so that we can see how it works. You can see a new window opened up. There was a moment in time when a form was generated and then resubmitted, and now I can go ahead and browse uh, the partner website. Something to remember about is that as a student, when they click on your link, they'll be first presented with a screen like this one, with a first name, last name, email, and they have to agree to the policy of uh, the vendor and then press OK to see the content. So that's an additional step that students go through only the first time they click on this link provider. Now, a couple of things that can go wrong. If you try to create a web link by selecting the plus sign in the menu and then uh, selecting web link, this is not uh, the approach that's going to be successful in enabling the LTI link. Instead, again, you will go to build content, select the web link, and then make sure that you have this uh, option available. This is um, uh, a link to a tool provider. Now, as you notice, when you click on it, we have this XML area. Well, this shows up because at this point we don't have the name of the tool. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and, um, uh, and, and, and type this in. And we also don't have the URL. Okay, the moment uh, the URL is there, you see this XML will disappear. So if you started by selecting the checkbox and you saw the XML text box, maybe you've wondered what you should put in there. Once the tool provider is approved, you don't have to do that. And so Blackboard automatically is going to, um, to recognize this URL as, as valid tool provider. Well, I hope that this was uh, helpful to you. And again, in order to connect to rich content outside of the LMS, but then to keep the users um, and their, uh, their, their course membership and other details uh, valid, you can use these LTI links and, uh, and they're very useful. So thank you very much.